These look sick. Oh, <laughs> that was horrifying. Oh no. <laughs> And welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today, we are joined by Bragg. Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. I was supposed to say something and then I forgot what it was. The I, thing that Bragg couldn't say twice earlier, I was supposed to say it. I completely forgot what it was. Oh, so have I now. Shit. Yeah. It's okay, Bragg. We won't remember the word that you can't say twice in a row. Oh, no. My brain. Amadeus. <laughs> Amadeus, Amadeus. Do, 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 do. Asmodeus. Asmodeus is the name. Amadeus, Amadeus. He did it! That was quick enough. Wasn't it? Uh, no, it was Asmodeus that you couldn't say. Asmodeus. Oh, Asmodeus. The word that doesn't exist, right? Yeah, yeah. Asmodeus, Asmodeus. 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 Yeah, there you go. There we go. As soon as you put a mic in front of me, I'm a complete professional. Exactly. <laughs> and move this mic away. And then, then, then. No, 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 no. <laughs> the police department. <laughs> that's, that's just for us. <laughs> How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Brack. Uh, crack my finally on my display case of mavens. Yes. No millennium rares. A few fairies. The rest of the lightning storms, I think. Well, one of them's gone AWOLs and I pulled two. So, yeah, have I've got a place of lightning storms. Lost it already. What? No, no, no. My, oh, so you lost one of I've your been, original ones. Yeah, so now you've got a place. Yeah. So again. I've been okay. sitting on two lightning storms this whole time, and I'll slide two of those in uh, or a geeky or something. And then the way you say it hurts me so much. <laughs> yeah, it's like I've been sitting the whole time going, "I'm not buying lightning storm until it turns up." And now I've got two, so. Three. Then all right, time. All right, time. No millennium rares. Really sad. No millennium wise restrict. That is in the set, right? I didn't dream I think that. So. Mm, I think so. I think so. Yeah, didn't pull that either. I would have liked. I think that. Jesse got one. If you're chasing it. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got to buy like a an anima off him as well. Just buying the the whole line. All the yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Every time I see a reprint of it, I'm like, oh, I'll pick it up because it's just something cool to have around. Uh, but yeah, the, didn't get any callbacks. That was kind of sad. They're so expensive. And by so expensive, I mean they're not as expensive as pre-release, so I don't really have a right to complain, but I will. I yeah, paid literally, pre-release prices. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> the, thing, the thing that you wanted to happen, or usually want to happen, like where a card comes out at a certain price, you're like, that should be $5 less. And now yeah. it is, and you're just like, I oh, still refuse. it's still too much. <laughs> nah. Well, I, I was best, like, because it's like 35 or something, and I'm like, I'll best offer the guy 30. And then, like, he just came back at, with 35. I'm like, what are you having up for 35? And then I just like, I don't want to buy it for 35 anymore. No, fuck this. That's where you start started. going... Wait, how little an amount can you go up? I think it's like cents. I think you can go like buy off. Oh, you can put little I would be petty as You only fuck. get three offers though. I don't care. I reject it. <laughs> On the last one I reject, I'm, like, I'm out. Like if you'd already written that off, I would have 100% just gone in $30 and three cents. <laughs> You're tempted. Hey, those three cents can come in handy. Hey, that, that's covering the tax. Yeah. Somewhere. That's buying Not every other one of them. <laughs> that's buying <laughs> every other cards in Mavens. Cause my god, that those prices tanked. Oh yeah, like yeah, it's not a good set to buy into. Um, speaking of which, I bought Mavens. <laughs> um, it's and again, it just falls back into what I said last week. I'd already sort of committed to buying it without like putting money down, so I felt bad if I just reneged because it's like. Oh, there's no value in it for me anymore, so you can just sit on that product. And I was still getting a decent price for it, so I was like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. Um, so from my box, uh, I got three Mudora. Yeah, three Mudora. That's all right. Uh, one Agito. That's all right. One Kelbeck. Yeah. Um, and no Kelio? No. I Zolga. Don't, no, I don't think I... Zolga? Wait, which one's Zolga? Zolga Eno. I was going to say, there's no Zolga. Oh, that looks like Zolga it's, to me. Zolga's not there. It's Agido, Midora, yeah, yeah. Kelbeck, Keldo. Oh, I've been yeah. confusing Keldo and the, I, I just... The like... Zolga got its retrain earlier. Yeah, Zolga got a common print in the other set, but it has like almost nothing to do with the current run. Yeah. Ugh. It's actually really bad. Uh, but beyond that, um, I pulled a fair bit of Sword Soul stuff. Um, I got the Sky Striker linkage card, which is apparently Chase for... For um, seven. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much exclusively for Seb. Um, I got two Lightning Storm and an Imperm. So, overall... Imperm's awesome. in the set? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, yeah, not bad at all. And then I bought another one at another store the other day because they had it before Good Game. So I was like, oh, I'll buy it. It was $10 more than what it was a Good Game. So I immediately regretted it. It could be worse. You could be going to a major retailer and paying 
15 rules. Yes. Or very 20 rules more in some situations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and from that one, I didn't pull very many fairies at all. I think I don't think I pulled any, actually. But I did pull them evenly. So I was like, eh. Evenly is in that set? <laughs> yeah, they actually did really good reprints. Triple yeah. Tactics is in that set. Yeah, um, in that idol. Kurt bought three boxes today, pulled two Triple Tactics, and a Lightning Storm. I was like, he takes right. that. He didn't have them before. Like, then that's and that's it's a good product. It just feels too. They could have like an extra pack in there. Yeah, it's, it's just it's not enough for the price. It's yeah. It's really get the not. sleeves out of there. Like, just make like this is the type of stuff you should be doing, but just not not like that. The thing I found funniest is that once I opened all my packs and got all my cards, all of the cards that I had from the six boxes fit in one box. Yeah. Yeah. And then, the, and then you, the sleeves go in the other boxes. Oh, the sleeves almost went in the bin. Uh, <laughs> Don't tell Sab that. He wants one of them. He probably wants I swear I gifted him some the other day. I gifted you the more. engages. Um, I uh, traded my uh, rego effectively for a pack. Um, someone paid my rego someone for a pack. Someone paid a rego for a pack? Yeah. Okay. I didn't wait. The packs are You're turned a real G, up. whoever did that. No, they're like $4 online. Oh, yeah, as I say. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I guess. What's the difference between four dollars on the internet and waiting weeks for an engaged but like set of sleeves, or just ten dollars now? Ten dollars now every day, especially when it's getting you into the tournament. Wait, so is that today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> so you yeah, yeah. two OTS packs. You didn't actually pay for. <laughs> yes. Uh, so. Um, <clears throat> onto oh, yeah, you action. played Yu Gi Oh this week. I yeah. did, yeah, yeah. So, beyond product news, I did actually play. Uh, so, on Tuesday, I had uh, four matchups. I think two of them were tier mirrors where they were playing the new stuff and I didn't have it yet. Those were real fun. Yeah, no. They were, yeah. <laughs> that was really cringe. The one thing I have learned very early is to, if, like, if they haven't dwelled you immediately, in which case the thing that I'm about to say wouldn't matter, but. If you're in that match and they're starting to mill your stuff, just activate one at a time. Yeah, but that still didn't work for you, Jake. It worked better. Yeah, sure. Because then it kept other <laughs> ones in grave and it just makes it a little bit easier to do stuff. Yeah. Like, because if, in theory, right, if I then get searches and stuff off, you use your two things. Then you'd have to start using the bestials, which this is all happening on your turn as well. So then on my turn, you're less likely to have those interruptions for when I'm trying to build my board. Ah, that's fun. But anyway, that's my theory going into it at the moment. Once I have to actually have my uh, mill stuff, we'll see how things go. Um, and then uh, today, uh, again, sold a pack of sleeves for my rego. Um, we had the new OTS in, uh, which was cool. We hadn't had OTS in a while. Uh, a guy that is at our store needs more points to be able to uh, get in. So fortunately for him, he was able to win. And in exchange for this win, he was very happy for the win. Yep. And decided to give me his pack. Yep. He was like, "I was I played really well. Good game, Jake." And then he gave you his OTS pack. Yes. Uh, and in that pack, it had the new Ulti Ray, which I immediately sold. So today, to, was a, today was to, a very profitable day for to me. To their, their credit, showed they're a really good person. I peer pressured them into opening the pack before handing it to you. Yeah. <laughs> that probably felt really bad for him too, to have it in hand and be like, oh, this is yours? Um, <laughs> if you're never going to play Striker, like, sure, it's a missed couple of dollars, but... Yeah. And it is, like, the very first, like, God knows how long we're actually going to have it for, but, like, it's the very first thing of the OTS that we've actually had, so there'll be other opportunities for him to get more. I'm sure he'll be fine. But I'm good. Ben! Any orange lights pulled? No. Uh, Luke gifted me one of his. So you're done. I'm good. Yep. So I can scab the rest. You can now yes. scab orange lights, yes. Mm. I have two commons. Can I have them? Yeah, they're scuffed, but you can have them. Like, legal for play scuffed? Yeah, I'd, I'd say they're legal for play, but you can <laughs> make judge <them. laughs> I'd say they're legal for play. They're legal uh, for locals? Oh, absolutely legal for locals, yeah. They've not got teeth marks in them, let's put it that way. <laughs> they have corners? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> they're oval. They're, they're, they're rounded for child safety. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was always be worried about my eyes. <laughs> be safe with your. What does it do? <laughs> <laughs> don't read your cards. It's too dangerous. That's it. That's why we don't read. Yeah. 
Because we all started playing this game, didn't have our stuff in sleeves, and went, ah! Oh. <laughs> anyway, how was your week, Ben? My week was fine. I didn't really take my week all too seriously. No, really. you didn't. I just kind of been throwing cardboard out, letting the dice roll. Um, I think I lost, have lost every die roll this week. Yeah, your luck yeah. has been terrible in all accounts. Yeah, I'm playing mill deck. I mill bad, and I'm like, nah, it's okay. It's fine. Just be chill. So what, just get your all work? your bad mills out between now and YCS. Yeah, I still beat Jake even though I milled poorly on Oils. Tuesday. Today I milled poorly and lost. Yeah, I milled crack today. My mills were yeah. amazing. Jake was like, I've bricked. And I was like, I want to make sure I can do something. So I'm still going to let us both mill five. Mm. And I milled like unplayable. And Jake was like, I, think I, I have get... triggered every effect in my deck. <laughs> Oh yeah, did you get the three? Yeah, Leo got the three off the uh, off the mill three and just sees all three like three names. Right. He was like, uh, he milled one and netted two searches. Ah, yeah. So he was like, you had now have given me the rest of the combo and triggered me off for a start. And I was like, yes. And you're like, I still don't have a combo. I still can't play. <laughs> what was your record today? I went uh, oh three. Yeah, I lost every game. They don't today. call him no win Ben for nothing. They don't call me no win Ben for nothing. <laughs> Have you won Tuesday? Uh, I think I went X1. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, the store championship day. yesterday we didn't do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That happened. Um, anyway. Yeah. We shouldn't, I, I just, and this set dates, I guess, for OTS tournaments, uh, I, I don't mind, but also just let us know ahead of time everyone he'd what? said this a while ago yeah we like found this... out like two months ago yeah he announced that ages ago and I said two months ago no one was going to show up no one showed up oh yeah two months was when I probably would have stopped going as well I guess <laughs> yeah um so moving on to some news uh so we start with Master Duel um so the Anti-Spell Festival is underway um I know neither of you have played it yet because other games have come out in yes. recent history cross duel <laughs> yeah we're all, we're all playing cross duel yeah um so uh in the anti-spell festival uh you have a choice of three loner decks uh pendulum because apparently pendulums don't count as spells uh dynamorphia and oh, what was the last one shit oh god what was the maybe last we should one? play dynamorphia or master duel how the fuck was the other one that? paleozoic no damn is Toad banned? Trapped. I'd assume Toad's banned for this event. I don't have to be. I don't think so. What? I haven't. I haven't. Not. I've not versed any Paleo. But I'm, I'm, oh, sorry. I remember what the last one is now. Trapper. No. Um, it should be that, but it's not. Um, it is. Uh, what are they fucking called? I know what they are. Um, it's got like the main dudes like a level seven with balloons. What's his name? Uh, adventure. Uh, uh, amazement. Amazement. Yeah, my mind kept going to adventure, and I'm like, that's not it. Uh, it's, it's amazement. <laughs> yeah, amazement. Well, is amazement the dragon made. Oh, that's right. You built that once. I played that at the YCS because it was like hard anti tri brigade, and then I proceeded to not play a single tri brigade match <laughs> up the entire YCS, and I was like, mm, yes. I think historically you've had probably some of the worst luck going into YCS as I've ever heard. Yeah, because I'm always like. I am going to build my deck specifically to beat this matchup, and then I either don't play that matchup, or play mirrors against people that are better than me. Um, but yeah, those are the three decks that are in there. Um, the the rewards this time. There's a background further on which I don't give a shit about. Um, but fairly early on, I think that like maybe three thousand medals. There's the Ring of Destruction, um, like graveyard and banished surrounds. Oh, that's yep. kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of nice. <sighs> Nothing super special, but it looks nice enough. Um, and you said Dynamorphia is a precon. Dynamorphia is a precon. Oh, it's oh, just occurred God. to me. I wonder if I'll play the winner of Sydney YCS again this year in round one. On stream? No, I always play, play whoever wins the event round one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mirror with Ben. Mirror with Ben. Mirror with Ben. <laughs> Couldn't even tell you who won. No. It's Corey. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, COVID. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, to briefly recap um, with Anti-Spell, I was originally just going to use the Precon uh, Pendulum deck because I was like, oh, it's like a Pendulum, it's cool. Um, went to start and realized that it didn't come with Electromite. 
and immediately built something else. <laughs> they gave you two of Beyond the Pendulum because they want to promote the new one, obviously, that's been released in recent packs. And I'm just like, no, Electromite is better. And I made these plays assuming I'd have Electromite. <laughs> this is not good. Um, yeah. Uh, as well as that, we do have news of an upcoming ban list in Master Duel. Oh, yeah, I um, saw this and thought it was a joke. Yeah, same. Same, same, same. I thought it was too. Uh, I had to confirm. Like three days later, I logged in the Master Duel just to check and see if it was real, and I was like, oh, it is. Oh, it's actually happening. It is real. Um, yeah, so to deal with the uh, meta threat that is uh, branded Despia, they have decided to ban Barry Statue. Let's <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> hit Flunderies to make the other deck better. It's really odd. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just like in some specific instances, maybe they're just looking at Flunder and they're like... They're looking at me. How would they be looking at you? You don't play. I play enough. And when I play, I don't lose. I mean, sure, if you'd like to apply that logic. Maybe they literally just sort it by, like, highest win rate, and then just go off all of those people's decks. Because that's definitely something they could do on the back end. If they just oh, go... Oh, back end, yeah, 100%. Show me the 10% highest win rate players, and then show me what decks they're playing. And then that's what they do the ban list based on. Not what you see on the top tables, because those people are probably people who are just fucking constantly playing because they suck. I feel targeted. Yeah, I kind of, when I finished that sentence, I was like, Jake's going to feel targeted. <laughs> um, well, maybe that's why they've also made this really bizarre um, semi limit of anti spell fragrance. Yeah, that's strange. I don't know why. I don't think I've seen anyone play anti spell for yeah, quite some time. Yeah, literally never been hit with an anti spell ever in that game. Like, granted, if they did, it would destroy me. Yeah, but, but... Like, <laughs> it's best of one. Who's main decking anti-spells? Yeah, I suppose you can't guarantee. Yeah, it's not as good as Imperial Order. Um, Imperial, yeah, yeah. Imperial Order was, so... Uh, also yeah, similar to now, we have Galatea at two, which was one at one before. Mm. So, Gisu and Harp still at one, but Galatea at two. It's okay. You can play your YCS in your 2020 lists. Woo! Well... Yeah, well, with harp. with Gisu. Yeah, you get one half and one Gisu. I feel like that balances out. It, it's okay. Um, it we balances. also have uh, Genex Ali Birdman. Ally. Ally. Yeah. I do that every goddamn time. To two? Um, to two. To two. Loop. Loop, 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 It's loop, just... Loop. Yeah. Leave it. It's Birdman. He's there. Let him be at one. Leave him there. Yeah, I don't think anyone's crying out to have yeah. Birdman back. Like, it's not needed. No one cares. Yeah. At all. And that's the thing, it's just like, and yeah, the only, no one wants it, and the only thing that can go wrong is a degenerate loop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. Just leave it there. Don't even risk it. It, it probably, it probably won't do anything, of course, but just don't chance it. Who cares? Uh, and then at three, we have Magical Meltdown, because Invoked is doing nothing. As per usual. It can be at three. It's at three in the physical card game, and it just wins YCSs. It's fine. Might be winning a YCS anytime soon. Is it? No. Alistair is dark. Bistules. <laughs> Bistules say hello. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but then the invocation fizzles and it goes to grave anyway, and then you can add it back. So that's why you don't wait for them to use the invocation. You use it beforehand. What if it's on field? Yeah, what if you just use Alistair from field? Yeah, and then you neg on resources. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, but it's not. Um, but that list will come into effect as of the end of the month. So, again, giving further credence to they're just doing monthly ban lists now. Yeah, just a small logical. number of cards every month keeps the meta fresh without having to update cards all the time, which seems to be something they're avoiding with a passion. I'm seemingly though not liking the fact that they're like, we're doing monthly ban lists, but we're announcing them a quarter of the way through the month. Yeah, because then you don't, I mean, you don't want to invest the time into learning stuff that you're like oh well now it's going to change then it's just it's just it's a weird thing to get your head around well the thing is they're not hitting well other than maybe the barrier statue for the most part they're not hitting decks to a point where they're dead Mm. like flunderies can still play without a barrier statue it's just not cringe um no actually with um there's a lot of boards where you just can't end on the barrier statue anyway yeah um now you just play your harpy's harpist and search fucking thing hey oh christ <laughs> oh god that does that oh no i'm fairly sure that does that i think harpy's harpist searches barry's let's, uh, let's fact check the harpy's, harpy's, harpy's oh, he's, he's looking up you get prices as well yeah i do all my card searches and you get prices how do you spell harpist 
I just search Harpy. You don't fire up oh, the leader on app. Is it Harpy? Uh, yeah. When this card is normal summon, target one of the wing beast monster you control, one monster your opponent controls. Oh, no, it's uh, return them to the hand. Uh, I think it's one is of the it? new ones. Is it Perfumer? Uh, I don't know. Ah, yeah. Whichever one, if there's one that searches uh, a Harpy's card. If this card is normal special summon, add a spell trap from your deck that specifically lists the card Harpy Lady Sisters uh, in its text. I think that's what dodges it. Maybe it's not searchable. Damn. My brain thought it was going to be so big there. Well, you can get Elgin Egotist and then some Harpy Lady Sisters. Ooh. Bastard. Or another Harpy from deck. I still have yet to see anyone who's done my play of um, Unexpected Die, summon out Harpy Lady from deck, try and play Tri Brigades, and then have Harpy Featherstorm to negate hand traps. Can that card search Triangle Ecstasy Spark? And nah, then activate Triangle go. Ecstasy Spark? Or do I you have to have Harpy I, Lady Sisters to do it, not Harpy Lady? Yes. yes. Ah, as, as, we, as we found out at YCS... Uh, 2016. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, until the end of the turn. It's not a free sisters. card! Yeah. Damn. Yeah, not that free. But anyway, uh, moving on from our uh, shit to deck building ideas, um, we recap on YCS Dortmund. Um, so that had, what, over 2,000 players? 2,500 players. <laughs> Massive Huge. numbers. Um, I think it was the biggest European YCS ever. Specifically European. Because as we identified in the past, uh, there's been like 4,000 player YCSs in Long Beach. Yeah. So, yeah. That seems bonkers. Yeah. Seems tiring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the best thing about this stream over the weekend was who, like, whoever took over, whoever did the pull of the guess the cards on the second day was absolutely nailing it, it oh just, yeah. yeah oh that was so much it better together, yeah it was so good yeah and even the commentators were at one point and then they're like yeah, oh the fun ends well. we're back to the <laughs> we're back to the tournament now like yeah. i don't know who was doing them the first time but like there was this point where like they would just get stuck in an archetype and they just wouldn't move on so it'd be like karibo card karibo card karibo card and then the next round begins and it's like uh war rock war rock like yeah. just very narrow-minded but like yeah when so i was like what have we searched all the cards that were good in 2004 yeah it's <laughs> like, not I know those. <laughs> what else was good is that obviously they'd planned around the fact that the tier mirrors were going to take a long ass time so they made a lot more of that in between round content than what they had in previous ycs's yeah. Um, so like they had them playing um, the Time Wizard format, as oh, like um, so the commentators all playing against each other kind oh, of thing. Oh, see, so, I th I went back and tried to find that, and I was too lazy to actually find it. <laughs> but I came across the match that was Medolce versus um, Spellbooks. Oh, oh Jesus! And the commentators were saying uh, they said at one point they said Time Wizard. They were like, "This is like a Time Wizard format." And I was just, my brain was like, what if Jake's just a fucking idiot and thinks that this match <laughs> was the no, time the commentators playing no, Time Wizard? Ben. No, Ben. <laughs> and they're just scraping a bottle of battle, barrel getting like table five, or well, table 1000 up on the stream. I actually think that was like round six and those players were like 4 one, one. They were both just playing like The hard Dolce anti... is an interesting pick. Yeah, because it's just straight anti fucking other deck. Yeah. It's anti tier element. You'd think the Exorcist it would be the natural yeah. choice of anti tier. Because you can mix it with the Vernisiflis cards or whatever. Oh, the Vernisilfs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you can pop off. Hmm. Your opponent makes you mill and you go, guess what? You got Vernisiflis. <laughs> <laughs> Dear fucking god. <laughs> So anyway, uh, from the tournament we have uh, firstly a deck breakdown of all of the entrants. Uh, so we have 28% Ishizu Tier Element, 14% Sprite. Well that's why Medolce is like getting 4 one, one. It's because if only 25% of the field is... Yeah, you have a 1 in 4 chance of playing your best match out. You uh, open shifter. Yay! <laughs> Whee! Uh, ten percent flunderies. Uh, five percent branded despia, which I imagine would have the dis uh, bestials in it. Uh, egg three percent exorcista. Three percent just normal tier element, for some reason. Uh, two percent oh, draco no, slayer. It, it was clarified that there was some kind of mistake. And, oh, yeah. was that meant to be something else? That was no. It was meant to be in the other lot. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, wouldn't it be is it because they didn't want Tier Element yeah, to go over 30%? Yeah, there wasn't <laughs> that many non Ishizu Tier Element players. Right. Surely there's enough broke people in that. In a room of 2,000 Yu Gi Oh players, surely there's enough broke yeah. people. 3% though is like 300 players. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say 300 people. I don't, being... I don't know my math is wrong there, but hey, yeah. Actually, yeah, I think you had a go at me last time when I tried yeah, to make no, that I, same I think, maths. I think that's like 60 players, or like 85, somewhere in that range. I don't know. Somewhere. Which? Uh, and 35% other, which could be anything. It could be yeah. Gradles. Yeah. What are the other tell people me, doing? Tell me how you went Gradle player. Because there's no Matt. I, do you pre, I mean, you can pre rego for whatever loot there was, but... Um, I don't know how the prize wall fundamentally works at YCSs, so... It's for uh, points from side events. Only side events? Yeah. So you don't get, like, I don't a, think you get an anonymous amount of points for entering the main event? Yeah, I don't think I don't think so. That sucks. I'm just not sure I want to walk into a room with a crappy deck. No offense. And, and yeah, like... Yeah, it's worth I'll, a trip with the boys, you know? Oh, no, but, like, I would definitely do side events. Like, I'm going in there like hanging around and waiting for the side events so the thing is there's two different mindsets you can have if you're that person you can be like hey look i'm just here for a good time i like playing the deck i know this isn't going to win um i'm just here to have fun my friends are here i'm sure they'll do great blah 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 blah. or they go in there with the mindset of no i've built this deck specifically to beat around this by this niche interaction that's easily negated that yeah, was not yeah. targeting you. That was targeting other nah, people that the, were fully aware receipt, of. The receipt. The receipt. I know it wasn't targeting me. But you, know, know you know exactly, exactly, who, I'm exactly who I'm talking about. You know exactly who I'm talking about. You're wrong. I know better. You're uh, wrong. You don't know how to deck build. <laughs> like, fucking excuse me? This is why you're the worst Yu Gi Oh player in Australia. <laughs> oh, yeah, you still would be, wouldn't you? Yeah. That's amazing. I love yeah, that. Yeah, technically, you're still the worst Yu Gi Oh player in Australia. Yeah. It. I just love the idea of asking for someone for their advice and then once they've given it being like no nah, you're wrong no, you're wrong <laughs> you don't know how this deck works <laughs> but yeah I, you know, I, I get like the fun works. element going there for the weekend doing the side so heading up the side events but just handing over $25 for no mat no nothing uh, I guess you get the packs yeah you're supposed to get the value back in packs so if we don't get five packs I'm gonna be pissed yeah it's like inflation says no <laughs> oh yeah I'm assuming that the packs cost $5 they, well. don't. they don't anymore do they no. fuck well, it should cost them. It's, it's bloody Konami. Yep. It costs the local store six dollars. It doesn't cost them five dollars. These yep. packs are nothing. Yeah, it's cardboard. Me... Yeah, that entire box cost you fucking twenty dollars to make anyway. Give me a box. <laughs> a box for entry. That would oh, be man, cracked. That is just fuck the secondary market. <laughs> Good. It needs two, fucking two thousand five hundred <laughs> players of booster box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the top 64, uh, we have some number shifts. Uh, so from the original... The 28% gets bigger. Yeah, so from the original... Well, bigger. 31%. From the original 31% of Tier Element Ishizu, in the top 64, it um, increases a bit to uh, 71%. Uh, we have 11% for Wondery. Uh, 6% sprite slash sprite tier element. Uh, 3% runic. They should have just fucking done 3% sprite. 3% sprite tier element. <laughs> yeah, it would make a lot more sense. Uh, 3% Madolce, 2% Draco, 2% Naturi runic, and 2% Mystic Mind Burn. Yeah. In top 64, how the fuck do you get 2% and 3%? Uh, That's not how math works. They gave it 101%. Unless, like, one of these ones was, like, some scuffed percent, so they just, like, put it on one of the others. The, that math just doesn't work out. It just doesn't work out. I did enjoy, I think it was in the very first round of Top 64, uh, that the Mystic Mind Burn player versed the Runic Mystic Mind player. I was very happy about that. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> The, the meme I saw of it was um, in Pokemon the two Metapods battling each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. That's one of the ones we tuned in for too. I'm like, oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, so I believe the finals was Flunderies versus uh, Terrellment. Correct. Yes. And Terrellment absolutely wiped the floor. Dunked them. Yeah. Absolutely dunked. I think it was like I think they had that interaction of uh, drop D shifter chain. Uh, orange, orange light. light dropping a Guido, a Guido of... Mill statue. No, no, no. He didn't have that interaction, by the way. He didn't. Uh, he had the interaction, didn't do it. Oh, that's so right. Yeah, he yeah, got yeah, yeah. shifted. And he's like, looks at his hands, like, okay, that boss, knowing full well that he couldn't die on the rebound. Oh, but his opponent, have... yeah, yeah, his okay. opponent rised, got himself the D shifter back, and then he went to D shifter again. And he was like, this time, no. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. 
that's that's high quality. I like that. Um, so yeah, it is looking interesting for Tyrolem and Ashizu moving forward. So I guess the question at this point is, does it survive till our YCS? I don't know. I'm starting to question it, and I'm like, should I sell my tier elements just in case? Well, do you reckon they would hit the tier section, or do you reckon they would hit the Ashizu I, section? I think they hit tier. I think they, like, yeah. like limit Sheeran or something. Yeah, I was going to say limiting Sheeran. Even in the like some of the wish lists, I have not yeah. seen enough limiting of Sheeran. I've yeah. seen, like, oh, everything to two. It's like, no. You might see maybe two... <laughs> triple P and Sheeran to, like, one each. Yeah. Maybe. Tri oh, you Cavernous. already reckon triple P already though? They got to. They have to try and. Yeah. It's. I don't know what the go is gonna be. It's gonna be awkward as fuck. Because I. I honestly think that if they wait until after our YCS, they can go full bloodbath. Yeah. They, and that's what they I'm. Can go that's what I'm thinking they'll do is that they'll do similar to what they did after Sydney and be like, oh, congratulations to Tier Shoes who won another thing. Also, dead, dead, dead. Everybody's but, dead. But they've just done it, like, so they've already had their two YCSs. Last time they did back-to-back -back spiral YCSs that were this dominant, they hit the deck a week later. Well, I, was, I just had a quick dig back on the spot. The spiral conversion rate w wasn't as good as tier. Oh, God. <laughs> like... Spiral was also a harder deck to play. And there was pen and Pendulum was floating around as well. Like, there was a good portion of Pendulum players that they'd pushed yeah. through. Like, this is just... Yeah, to 25% to 75% is, like, freaky. Oh, I know why the Inferno players aren't here. Because they just get their fucking pieces put back into their deck. True. They're, I'm like, I'm gonna play Infernoids, because all my grave effects, you start activating them, and it's like, oh, they didn't work. <laughs> it's... And also, if they go into a non-tier matchup, they're completely screwed, because everyone's mainly Necro Valley. Yeah, true. Oh, I have a pitch for a... a... A banless prediction thing eventually, by the way, an emergency, Ooh. like a, a, a format shakeup. If anyone has any ideas as well in the Discord, comment them in the Discord. Yeah, banless discussions. There's a channel in the Discord. Comment there what you think getting a band. Yeah, e ban list, regular ban list. I I start. I'm pretty much accepting there's gonna be a ban list before I see a Sydney. God, I hope not. I don't have to learn anything else. No, it will just be the same thing, but with less. Yeah. Which Surely. Point? I think also in your discussion earlier about playing side events, I'm going to play Dragon Maid for side events. Yeah. Just because if I sit down at a side event and I play against three tier players, it's like, cool. Easy wins. <laughs> Let me do EXO. I always used to take another deck for side events. Yeah. Because I figured I'd get sick of playing it. Yep. And? I don't think I will this year. You're going to play a Shizu for both? I think so. What if you just don't get to nice. play side events, Jake? What if you win the YCS? There is that. What if you pair me <laughs> What if you pair me around one and win the YCS? If I pair you first round, it's gonna get so in my head. <laughs> Dude, I've won. I've won the fucking YCS. Until you start putting my shit back. It won't be two thousand. No! It won't be two thousand people. But pairing your mate with two thousand people will just. Oh. We paired each other in YCS before round two. But we weren't just... friends at that point though. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hated it. No, no, we didn't know each other. That was literally the first time I met Ben. Is um, at that YCS. I think we had been at an event together before. But I don't think we knew no, each other. No, I definitely wouldn't have said hello. No. <laughs> is it the one where I bowed for Pogo? No, this did, Pogo didn't exist at this point. This yeah, this YCS was my first YCS. No, it was his second YCS, wasn't it? You played I was playing Mermel, so it was yeah. my first. Oh, both of our first YCS. He was meant to be playing Paleo. Um, no, I was, some... no, I was meant to be playing ABC. In ABC. Yeah. ABC. He was playing ABC. Um... And I lent it to someone to try and convince him to come with me. And then they didn't give it back. Yep. So then he had to play played, Traffic Zodia. Fucking, yeah, I played Traffic Zodia. I was like, oh. And I was playing Mermel OTK. <laughs> Second place Pody 2012 deck, Traffic Zodia. Ooh. 2012? 2013. No, 2012. Ugh. What's Long. the next instance of news, Jake? It's a good <laughs> question. Well, that conversion uh, rate's fine. What else have we got? Oh, yes, we have all of the cards announced for the upcoming Dark World structure. I don't know when we're getting it. Are we getting it that date? Yes, yes. that's our structure. Yes. It already came out in the OCG months ago, Jake. Oh, it did too. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yes. I just didn't know it existed because it didn't do anything. It's something. Why have they printed the two vanillas in here? Yep. Fucking why? Yep. Um, considering there's two the other car, considering the numbers that come after the two vanillas, the names, sorry, of dangers, putting those two vanillas in there is dog shit. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, so the two vanilla Dark Worlds, one that has like 1900 attack and the other one that has like 2100 defense or something like that. It starts with a C. I'll remember eventually. Ah, either. It's tanky yeah. though. Hmm? The, the defense Dark World. What, what, yeah, what's our good in reprints day. in here? Okay. Uh, so good reprints, we've got uh, Bigfoot and Thunderbird being reprinted. Uh, Mothman uh, and Suchinoko also getting reprinted. Uh... One of the uh, ladies of Lament or whatever the fuck they're called, Lilith, which, is, which had only just been reprinted. Oh, the Fable's also like not easy to get. Oh yeah, Raven. Yeah, he gets around. Yeah, yep. he's good. Uh, Blackjack. That's Blackjack. Yeah. Blackjack. Blackjack. Yeah, he's been reprinted a million times. Um, oh, they reprinted Gateway. Starkwood Dealings is good. Deal- Actually, Dealings is alright. I thought those were the same card because they both got the same monster in it for a second. <laughs> oh, to be fair, Darkwood Dealings is a Darkwood card, so it should be reprinted. Oh, the Virus card. Uh, yeah, uh, deck devastation virus Needed reprinted. It. Wait, only just one, only one um, virus. Yeah, uh-huh. just deck devi. Uh huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why isn't all of them in there again? Whatever. Okay. Uh, drag down to the grave. Also a good reprint for that. Oh wow, yeah, because that was the original money card of um, Dark Worlds ages ago when that first structure deck came out because they didn't put Dark Smog in, which is the uh, that one. Yeah, and they didn't have um, the mind crush in there, which is completely useless because of <laughs> knowledge. Oh, maybe you I, call I, it wrong on purpose, and that way you can discard a card. Yeah. <gasps> if only there was a series of monsters that would just do that, but better. Uh, apparently there's only four of them. <laughs> only four. Only four. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what else? Uh, uh, skill uh, drain. And, oh, it's skill drain. Yeah, which we mentioned last week. Yeah. Um, oh, so this is coming very soon. Uh, Start of December. Second December. Of December. December. Um, from what I can recall, the fusion isn't super generic, is it? No. It's like a Dark no. World and a Fiend or something like that? It's not super generic. The The deck's alright. It can do shit. However, it no do a lot of shit against full power to element. Yeah. There's one ones where like you could rock up to locals and go 2-2. Two, two. Oh, you could rock up to all ro- locals and if you match up right and you play well, you could win. Yeah. However, you have to be a very good player and get very lucky... And draw the yeah, draw the skill drains. Oh, you play three structure decks, you fucked. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you gotta you gotta beef that shit up. Yep. Um, gotta get the Nessies. As a quick uh, update as well for Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge, uh, there were in fact ten Starlights. Uh, another one got revealed once Pax was de- it de- was opened. Savage. Borrowed Savage Dragon. Which looks uh, good. Looks really nice. Synchros always look really nice in Starlight. Honestly, impressed how long it took for that card to be revealed. It's not often that. Stuff like that makes it to distro level, like past distro level before it's been. Maybe it's just beat. super, super exclusive. Yeah. Or, or ten starlights in the set. Yeah. Like it it's... was. We didn't say it was awkward that there was nine, and then one mystery one just randomly shows up out of nowhere. They're listening. Yeah. <laughs> Kami was like, "Put Fuck. another one in. You gotta put another one in there." <laughs> Shit. Uh, no. Oh no, that was a wish list. Imagine if you're into master sets. Oh. So yeah, if you have to complete a master set of that and get ten of those, that's gonna be ill, expensive. Ill, yeah, very much not about that. We used to have um, people coming to work all the time that were like, "I'm doing a master set of this Pokemon set, but I can only get finish the master set by opening packs." And yeah. I was like, "That's ballsy as fuck, bro." At the very least, it's expensive. That's in, yeah. If you have the money for it and you're enjoying it, well, I'm not gonna knock your hobby, but come on. There's some people that are in that game where it's like, eh, you probably shouldn't be. <laughs> Um, I believe that concludes us for news, so we move on to our Discord. Uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us from Rai Guy. Uh, what are your favourite and least favourite mirror matches? I've been playing a lot of Umi mirrors in Master Duel, and I like not having to search for my own Umi when my opponent can uh, get them for me. I actually kind of wanted to play the Umi deck in Master Duel now. <laughs> With Barry Stetcher getting hit, I'm like, that Ubi deck seems really fun. It's actually really annoying to verse, especially if you're playing branded, because like they just sort of whack the um, the floodgatey one on the board. Yeah. And then the second it's on the board, it's like you can only control one non-water. Your branded in red is dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can slide back from grave. I can. Yeah. I think that's how I found out the first time that that's how that interaction worked. Because I was like, branded in red, back. get this bitch off the board. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, it's you actively typing. I got excited. Oh, exactly um, so, yeah. Um, favorite and least favorite matchups? Oh, mirrors. My least favorite mirror of all time 
I knew what it was, and I figured, I don't know, Flunder East is pretty bad. It's a pretty toxic as fuck mirror. That's um, why, that's why I dropped it, when, because I, you and me had a mirror, like, the second week, Yeah, and I'm like, I'm never doing this again. That mirror was... <laughs> I do like the idea <laughs> that before the match even starts, four of the cards in your deck are dead. It is cute, yeah. <laughs> Like the barrier statues no longer mean anything. The shifters, the don't, shifters work. don't do anything. Oh, the M pen is literally there just as a beta. It's effective. Yeah, it's just really. Ad, ad. And you should thank us for dropping Flunder. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Saves us all a lot of time. Yeah. I, I also thank you for dropping Flunder. Although I haven't played you in a team yet, yet, so who knows? Oh, it's going to mean. Come on, it's going to be like ah oh, mil five. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to think about that. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what's going. Where that's, it's going. that's basically what it was like when I was in a team mirror with Tom. Like he, I did like a super poly, and like he should have got two triggers, and he's just like, okay. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Oh, Tom, Tom, Tom. <sighs> that's what? exactly what I said to him. I was like, oh, Tom, what are you doing? What's your least favorite mirror, Jake? Uh my least favorite mirror. Um. Oh, Paleo Mirror is also toxic as fuck. Oh yeah, it would be. Yeah. Um, it doesn't occur all that often, but my least favourite mirror is probably Mech Knights. Yeah. Because you're both trying to achieve the same thing, and it's like whoever's the first one to do it is generally the one who loses. Have you ever played a Mech Knight Mirror? Lots on, like, online things. Not in real life. I've never okay. played it in real life. I was like, that's an obscure mirror to have. Yeah, that's what I said. It wouldn't come up very often, but online yeah. occasionally you get it. And, like, you get an inkling sometimes where, like, they'll be going first and they just, like, set two, but they won't <laughs> set them in, like, the centre column or the two um, yeah, extra deck like, like, zones. Bang, bang. Like, okay, sure, whatever you want, man. Um, I don't know what's a good mirror. What was a fun Sometimes it's engaging. Play? I don't... I've actually, like, at the moment, I've not gotten super into them because... Like, we're just playing on very different levels. But I feel like the Ishizu mirror would be grindy. Yeah. But I feel like it would also be fun. I feel like it's, that's probably a big brain as fuck mirror, but... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of brain power there. It's... I don't know if I can be bothered to work on that. I'll just play Dragon yeah. Age. <laughs> What's in that, like... We've had a few, like, I mean, that YCS 2020, I liked the Orcus mirror. That was fun. Got my mm. ass kicked because I was playing a whole bunch of people better than me, but... They were good mirrors. I can tell you like all the mirrors I like. Remember True Draco mirror? <laughs> oh no. That was literally if you went first you lost. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Whoever made their masterpiece unaffected by traps and monsters won. Also, whoever decided that fucking your Draco spell that gets you draw should net off the ones that your opponent sends to graveyard, yeah. that person should be shot. Yeah. Absolutely shot. Like, you just tear their fucking board apart, board apart and, you know, and then you and go, plus three. <laughs> that is... That's fucked. It was a pretty shit mirror. It um, felt shit at the time, but it was, like, silver lining that I didn't uh, get into the Oceanics that was in New Zealand that time yeah. that I thought I did, because I would have gone there with Draco, and it would have sucked. Um, Mirror that I like. Zoo mirror. Yeah, I was just thinking. I that. genuinely like Zoomira. Like I'm pretty sure we talked about Zoom it Yeah, I've never played one. It's what? really I've never fun. played Zoom. It's like really fun. Invoked was good enough in that format that I could still have fun without having huh. to spend a whole lot. Oh yeah, because that was a good time at locals. That was like because that was an hour as well. Yeah, oh, and yeah, he's going versus some cool cats. Playing, oh, we're all playing Zoom. Yeah. Everyone's having fun. <laughs> playing some cool cats and kittens. Playing <laughs> Zoom almost killed me. Remember I got my I got my immune disorder like right at the end of that format. Oh, I didn't realise you'd acquired the disorder. I thought you no, had just, always had I it. developed that disorder like mm. during that format. Oh. Okay, I was not aware yeah. of this. Yeah, no. Hmm. That's what Ben yeah. leveled up. Ben yeah. would like to learn autoimmune deficiency. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's how cancer as it was when I played the fucking true Draco mirror. I was like, fuck. I don't play zoo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, favorite mirror. Um, I feel like, and again, probably doesn't come up all that often, although if you're versing online, it probably does. Um, branded mirrors are actually really fun. Uh, I like branded mirrors. Uh, they get messy. Like, it's it's a whole different style. 
Like, it's just, oh, the game plan you have for the rest of the format just goes out the window. You have to have yeah. two sets of... Once you set up Double Masquerade, it's like, oh. Uh, Did your opponent have the ability to super play these? Uh. Well, yeah, that's what I yeah. mean. Like, a lot of it is that counterplay. It's not a case of, like, oh, um, I have to interrupt my opponent so that they can't set this up. It's a case of swing back, and whoever swings harder is the yeah. one that generally wins. I did find playing that mirror that whoever went second had an advantage. I don't oh, know yeah. Mm. Being able to go for Chimera and just blow up the board. Yeah. Bonkers. Yeah. And also, in Master Duel specifically, if you had the fucking call by for their brand in red. Oh, yeah. Huge. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what came up against Kurt today, too. Mm-hmm. Is um, I let him set up the board and then just before end phase, before his Albion would trigger, I banished it. And he's like, oh. That but then he, he triple tactics and drew into it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the tactics See? he pulled? Tactics, yes. Yeah. Tactics, good. Tactics is good, but it just... Needs to be in every deck. Next question, Wait, Are you playing in two? Absolutely, I'm. Well, you kind of run out of space when you're playing a Shizu, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I side deck it, but I don't main deck it. Mm, I'll no, say that. Main. Um, next question. Uh, would you rather have six months formats again, or do you prefer the four-ish month formats at the moment? I prefer three months. I prefer just fucking true it back, give us a ban list every three months, I'll take it. I'd be very happy about that as well, yeah. if they'd move back to something more regimented. Yeah, six months is too long. Like, a no end date four month is also annoying as fuck, because yeah. when you get into that like end of the third month, you're like, I can't buy any cards. What, what am I going to do? I'm stuck just playing the deck. Do I sell my shit? What do I do? I'd rather them just be like, every three months is a bit list. Yeah. And also, like, and just, yeah, treat it like seasons of, hey, this is this, yep. this is the season you're going to look back on and this is the form. Because we already do that with, like, every other YCS. They should also, like, you know how they do, the, like, the playmats, the regional playmats. They change them every season. They should just change it and ban list. Change it and ban list. Mm. Instead of, like, whenever a new product releases... Just change it, ban list. Imagine the conspiracy theories that come out, like they announce what the new mat is for the new season and it doesn't include, like it's not a certain yeah. item. They're like, oh, shit! Oh no, it's getting banned! <laughs> sell, sell, sell! It's getting banned! <laughs> yeah, they need to move back to something more consistent. Like, it's a tiny bit better that, like, it's around the three-ish months, but there's also yeah, so- no guarantee that it's that time frame. So, like, we assume that it's going to be in January, like, around at the time of our YCS based on what's happened in the last couple yeah there's literally no guarantee of that it could be tomorrow uh-huh. it could be next fucking may like we don't know yeah, it's ordering yeah, so you have to guess when they think that when you think that they've had enough of a particular format as to when they're actually going to implement something yeah which sucks it's aids not yeah, fun um next question comes to us from mira um oh no it doesn't because that's asking about formatting um, oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> by the way, I think it's—is it Crobat Five or Rygar that does the formatting? I think it's Crobat. Yeah, thank you, Crobat Five, for uh, telling everybody how to do the formatting. Not everyone's got it quite yet, but yeah. we're getting there. Um, I didn't get it. Uh, so next uh, one is question. from Mitochondria. Uh, new comment up. Welcome. Yes, it is. I believe it is a new person. Uh, what do you guys think of Marcel releasing a new archetype along with future key support cards for the archetype at the same time, despite the support card coming out on paper way later than the actual archetype? So it's I like haven't where noticed they... this happening at all. Um, well, it didn't happen with Flundery, so that's probably why I didn't notice. Yeah. You, you didn't get the Flundery support card for like two sets after. Facts. Um, it's it's they... fine. Like, Master Duel is an independent format enough that they can do that and it really won't matter. I just want my fucking admin earlier. <laughs> instead, I get my yeah. I get my flunderies, and then they're like, "Wait six months, we'll give you advent." They give me advent, and then like, and we started banning the deck because it's too good. You got advent in September? Like in real life? Yeah, no, in uh, in Master Jaw, right? I don't know. I, uh, so it's two months of that deck, and then yeah, because they, they released advent and immediately put map to two. Ah, yes. Yeah. That was fun for you. Ah, that was fun. Um, main deck. But yeah, like, I haven't noticed them doing a lot of that, to be honest. Like, Despia came out of its own. Uh, then Chimera came out separate to Despia ages later. Yeah. Which made Despia unplayable until then. Uh, then the branded stuff came out after that. Uh, and even then, we don't still have... We still don't have all of the newer stuff of Despia, like Banishment and all that kind of shit. Um, so, like, it's fine. We also still don't have Therians. Yeah, we, also actually, still yeah, don't we don't have, have Therians. Yep. 
Because Therion's ruined the first I don't want to play that game now until Spiral comes out. So not Sprite, sorry. Because get this Therion's were in the same paper pack as Starfrost and yes. um, Scareclaws, yeah? Yes, so logically they should be the next ones, but for whatever reason they really want to push the pendulums. Maybe for the anti-spell festival specifically? Yeah. Because I thought you should have bundled those together, because they're all the... They're all the... That. Yeah. Normal. And again, they're at liberty to do whatever they like with the packs, because it's separated enough from the normal format that they don't need to follow any sort of so, linear guideline. Conspiracy theory time. <gasps> So they they seem to be delaying one archetype out of every pack. The whole archetype. Generally the better archetype. Yes. So. Uh-oh. Next set we're going to get Therians and then two sets out of the set, the pack that had Labyrinth and Mr. Rune and shit. Therians I'm going to delay Mr. Rune. So, or Runic or whatever. In the next set, after that, we're going to get fucking Mr. Rune, Terelement, and they're going to delay Sprite. Just a fuck Sprite once again. Um, <laughs> then when you once get Sprite, again, they'll totally be like, be fuck yeah. Mm, I am we quickly... pre-banned Totally Awesome just to make sure that everyone was prepared for the format. I am quickly fuck that, man. doing a thing to back up a claim I'm about to make. I think we can move on to the next question. Can I do it so quickly, so quickly? Oh no. When did the issues of some stuff come out in the OCG? Oh, it came out like nine months ago. They got it, like, at the start of the year. Do we get it before tier? Well, that's a chance. There's a chance we do get the Shizu <laughs> before tier elements in Master Door. Oh, no. Yeah. If they, if they stuff around the main packs and go, oh, we'll we'll send tier further down with maybe some cash tier stuff or whatever. There is a chance that happens. <laughs> the reason I don't like the idea of that is because it'll get put in some cringe deck. No, but... A whole, well, that's, that'll be good because it's a really good graveyard support like thing. You could run... We could like what? screw around with it. That'll be heaps cool. What happened to Sky Striker in Master Duel? What, why did he hit? Nothing? Sam, what happened to, why don't you play Sky Striker in Master Duel? What happened to it? Um, Nothing got hit? Halk? Halk's banned? Yeah, I'm it sort of thinking hurt like... OTK what thing. happens and now when they get play linkage? <laughs> Because they oh, could just Christ. sneakily get linkage in the next set, and that deck is better there than it is anywhere else. Well, yeah, they got two fucking engages. Yeah, and they'll get linkage too. Ooh. Ooh. They have one Kagari? One Kagari set? One Kagari. Oh, we can talk about the new Sky Strike. Yeah, it'll be next week when we see the rest of them. Yeah, like, we don't actually know enough about the rest of them yet, and the one that they've announced is shit, so. I don't think it's that bad. It's not. It's, it, yeah. It has to be destroyed. It's not shit. It is shit. It's. Yeah. You run over it, and then you get your engage back. Anyway, that is fucking awful. Next question. That is so dude. bad. Um, next question comes to us from Rai Guy. Uh, what do you think of Master Duel now compared to when it was released back in January? They got released back in January? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're coming up to a year of Master Duel. Fuck. I guess it's better now, but I don't know why. <laughs> Um, I quite like it. Um, I don't think it's quite at the point where people were hoping that it would be like a lot of the complaints seem to be that it doesn't mirror our current format enough. I'm not happy that it doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy as an element, but it would almost be, if I'm jumping into Yu-Gi-Oh, I would almost go, oh, it's either I'm playing Master Duel this season, or format, or paper this format, because, yeah, it's just spending brain power on branded is like, oh. <laughs> then brain I go with... Brain power on branded, that's, that's funny. <laughs> small brain. Big head. Small brain. He's like an emu. Yeah. <laughs> Cassowary, maybe. Yeah, true. If you got nasty... No, I'm not going to go. Anyway. Um, he was going to yeah. say it. <laughs> um, yeah. Like like I say, the biggest complaint is that it doesn't mirror the format enough. Um, I think... I yeah, I don't think that's a complaint anymore, though. Well, it is, because people aren't playing it. Yeah, fuck them. Oh, <laughs> people are... Well, there's enough people playing it that it's going okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I imagine so. There's probably more players for Master Duel than there are actual players. Uh, in current format, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many... How much money do you reckon they actually make off this? Have they done an earnings call to talk about how much they earn? You'd be able to find it out on Twitch, because I think there's a thing on Twitch that says which are the highest grossing games. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but it doesn't give a number. Well... But you I can mean... work it out to some extent. Like, some yeah, games okay. will publish that they made X amount of money, yeah. or that you'll be able to find it more commonly, and then you sort of work it out... 
Yeah, but it's all in the ga- okay. Co- it's all in the gambling profits. Yes. Uh, profit of five million, nearly six hundred million dollars. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money for not even a year's worth of the game being released. I have not spent a dollar, and I have been at the top of ranked multiple times. Mm. Must be nice. Actually, it's been ages since I've spent money on there either. Yeah, I haven't spent money in a while. There's no need to spend money in that game at all. Yeah, but I want it. Ever. Don't support Konami. Yeah, we begged them for ages to get this platform, and now that we have it, you're like, don't give them a cent. Don't Don't reward them them for their efforts. They're going to fuck you in the end anyway. (laughs) My money goes to so many other nefarious places. What's another 50 bucks? Average. I think, I think, I don't think I spent more than 100 in it. I have spent, I tried to, day one, I was like, I'm going to drop like 20 bucks get started and then played like one single player thing and was like oh I have the money to build the deck that I want to build oh I literally don't want to build anything else where you go because <laughs> uh, yeah I because I just want to accrue as much but yeah I am running short on ultra rares remember when it came out and fucking all the YouTubers were like warning your co- your gems expire if you don't spend them they're gonna go away so I spent all my gems, and then, like, at the moment, I'm just sitting, like, 5k gems, and it hasn't expired at all. I think you misunderstood what they said. what they were say? It was that the special event ones that you get for starting on Master Duel expire. So not the ones that you already have, but, like, the reward ones. The reward ones expire. What? So, for, like, a login bonus kind of thing. Yeah. Like, when you first started, they gave you X amount of gems to start, right? Yeah. Those expire. Oh, so those would go away. Yeah, so if you okay. don't claim those, they expire. But your day-to-day gems that you've already claimed, they stay. Anyway, next question. Um, next question comes to us from Jesse. Uh, everyone says Yu-Gi-Oh players will cut off their left hand to draw two, but would you discard Imperm to draw two in oh, uh, relation yeah. to the Trap Tricks Allure, I think it's called, um, the new draw spell? Well, no, because you, you're giving up two cards. It's not drawing two. The whole good thing about a draw two is you're plusing one. Yeah, you're discarding one. You're discarding one. Like, yeah, if you, you just... You've played the card to do it. I wouldn't discard Imperm, but and maybe, like, some other Grave Trap card that pluses. <laughs> the, Sanguine. The... The Crystal Beast one? Hey! Oh, yeah. that'd be bonkers. That's okay. Yeah, I want, I want that for... Like, but like the allure That's the... line for Mercurial, but for traps. Eh. Eh. I want to do that and plus three, basically. <laughs> That's what I want. No. That's what Please. I want. <laughs> Next question, Jake. Next question no. comes to us from Crobat5, nicely formatted so that I can read it. Um, although I will say, I think the last. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't Crobat5 that did it last time. It must have been someone else. I still can't oh, figure six it out. Oh, 6x6. Sorry. Oh, Sorry, I miscredited. Uh, Crobat, it wasn't you. Sorry. It what? was Why wasn't it you? <laughs> <laughs> it was 6x6 who did it originally, so thank you for letting everyone know how to format their questions. Um, I remember it not being Crobat 5 now because I've read this question and I accidentally missed it last week, so sorry about that. Um, so his question is, what do you think of the... What? I said, fuck, we have a lot of questions today then. We do. Uh, so what do you think of these hero cards I made? If Konami uh, was to print them, would they make hero decks playable? Um, <laughs> Fuck your hero cards! <laughs> um, uh, from what I've read of them, no, but I'll read them for the benefit of uh, my fellow podcast members. Oh, Fuck them! Uh, so hero evasion tactics is a counter trap. Uh, when your opponent activates an effect that would target one of your hero fusion monsters, uh, negate the activation and have your opponent skip their next battle phase. I want this card searchable. Uh... No, what, fuck it's, your it's, hero cards. It's, it's lowercase. It's not searchable. Sorry. Skipping the battle phase, I kind of like the idea of because it doesn't. It's not a huge nag, but it's at the same time, it's it's something. If the battle phase is so useless, we can just skip it. What wait, if the card said wait, wait, this wait, card wait, wait, is always treated as a hero monster card and as a counter trap? Yeah. My <laughs> hero lives this counter trap out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Um. <laughs> Guiding Ariadne, does that just, like, search you any counter trap? No, that's Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, it must be pop, though, doesn't it? Yeah, so if you go DPE, mm-hmm. pop Guy- Guiding Ariadne, mm-hmm. it's then searchable. Mm. It's not good, I'm just saying, it can be done. 
Uh, we also mm -hmm. have Hero Replacement, uh, Quick Play Spell. When a hero monster you control is destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effect, uh, search your deck or extra deck for a hero monster with the same level but a different name and special summon it, but its effects are negated until the end of this turn. Um, so it gets its effects on yeah, the next so the, turn. So the problem I is, like that idea of it turning back the, on. The deck needs... Yeah, <laughs> so unfair. the problem is that you'd be very good at designing heroes for Konami currently because you're designing them at the same level that they are now. They need a negate. They need they something need, that lets them set up the fucking them board. They need a miracle fusion target that negates. I say they're better than Konami because, like, those are kind of creative and not the worst, but you're right. They are not broken. They, need a miracle they are target thematic, yeah. but they are not good. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, they're fine. They're not bad. Yeah, we have this. Uh, this, this well, the like, question, that's the well, question, the question is: contact. the question is, if Konami was to print them, would hero decks be uh, playable at a uh, tournament? No, no, no. They wouldn't be playable. They still need a miracle fusion <laughs> target in the gates. <laughs> that's basically it. they just need elemental hero Makata. That, that, that's yeah. what they need. Because like they have hand resources for days. Imagine if they Sunrise just and draw and search. That's what that should have been. Yeah, Rather than a battle phase destruction. Like, if you're printing have, DPE... Yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah, to answer the other question, it needs to negate. Uh, we have... No more questions. Oh, hang on. Yeah, no, that's it. Is it 6 on 6 Oh. <laughs> Sorry, there is one more question. Uh, from him. <laughs> hey guys, do you like cross duel, please? Oh, PS love the podcast. Oh, how cute. Um, but yeah, um, as a quick thing before we end, uh, we all did download Crosstool uh, while we are watching stream, from what I can recall. Yeah, I hated it. And I think a whole bunch of people did as well, like, because it was running, like, jank for the first half an hour. Yeah, I can't, I can't really... figure it out. I, I can figure it out, but I can't figure it out. I but... could figure it out if I could be bothered spending the time on it. Yeah. And the graphics of it are just really gross. Yes. I hate looking at it. The colours of it are oh, yeah, awful. Okay. That's, you can't see the colours, that's probably why. <laughs> Neither of them are red or green, Ben. I can see them just fine. Uh, there's a shade of red. Jake, have you played the story mode in it? There's a story mode in it? Yeah. Jake's in. No, he's not. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's kind of fun. I, like, I wouldn't mind playing like with like mates. I think that would be fun. I had this, I like, and, like as a board game style. Like If this was like a board game, I think that would be kind of cute. Like I, I like the concept. My biggest problem with it is I feel like they were trying to cater it too much to competitive players, and I just don't think that that's the player base for it. No. Because, no. like, with all of the, like, different strategies that you can play and, like, being able to boost certain monsters and all that kind of stuff, I feel it's just too complicated. So the barrier to entry is, like, is knowledge, and people just don't want to spend that Little time sense. learning. But also excelling as well can be hard because you can just get, like, absolutely ruined by your two, like, your two oh, sides. Oh, don't get me then started. The oh. other person, then, like the winners just taken out of your hands like i've just come second place and like i've done like really well but it's just no one was touching the other guy so he has more life than me and i'm like oh okay and also all the monster effects and i, I like the skill trees that's kind of cool but at the same time having blue eyes just not be blue eyes is probably a bad example having like other effect monsters that and spell cards that don't do anything what they're meant to be doing it's kind of weird i just pull up restructor uh, uh revolution whatever and it's just nothing to do with it and it's like oh, that's kind of weird but yeah I, f I find that's the same like you like you can build your deck to the best of your ability and you just get fucked over because someone's like mm, i'm gonna fuck over you like i brought out my red dragon archery and some person just fucking dark holder the second was on the board and i wasn't even winning at that point i was like bruh like fucking relax i hadn't computed that the cards were like completely different i just thought the monsters were i thought the spells were kind of similar and so I'd use Rust recklessly pretty early to get, like, the 800 boost. Nope. <laughs> I'm like, this thing's broken! Why don't I get my attack points? No, that's not how it, it works. Go faster. <laughs> Gotta go fast. And they, this is the same pitfall that they fall in with every other game. That they just change the rules of cards and effects for shits and giggles. They, they... People like the game because they like the game, for the most part. Like, why go fucking around with things that you really don't need to change? They need to do a re-release of Dungeon Dice Monsters. Yeah. It'd be so easy for them, too. Yep. Like, literally, you could just do a reskin, effectively, of the old game that existed. Yeah. Mm. With, like, maybe a slight update for new archetypes and stuff like that to draw in new people. 
That would be all you need to do. They should have done that instead of whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. Do any of you guys play Yu Gi Oh! Bam? The Facebook game? I think so. Facebook game? Yeah. I don't. It's just it's just another one of that where it's just you have all the same like all the artworks and then just oh, completely maybe, different effects. Maybe I did play that. I think did that one work similar to Crossdoor where like you're punching each other but like it's like a minus from them kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but yeah, it was only it was only one v one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, I think I did play that. Which is this feels like where that's come from and that sucked and tanked. So yeah, that was with that. This game has to be copied off something that's popular in Japan. Yeah. There has to be some game that's super popular in Japan on mobile that this has been completely ripped off of. It's my only thought of how they could possibly have gotten to this point. It's been nice pl looking at the new monsters from Rush Duel without touching the Switch game. Because, yeah. my god, I'm not playing that's any true. of those Rush Duel games on Switch. Did you particularly enjoy the Butthole Cat? Butthole Cat? I said didn't react. No, I like the, I like the Twin Strike Dragon guy. The the the, yeah. Yeah, the other dragon's kind of yeah. cool. The magician's uh, yeah. Oh, uh, crossbow magician! I've always thought looks fucking terrible. Also, there's twenty one hundred attack. Fucking get good, son. Yeah, they. Why wouldn't they have followed the same thing that they've followed for every main dude's main monster in that it has twenty five hundred attack? Oh yeah, I forgot. Two hundred for... extra for all the shit. What did you just fucking say? Deco two hundred extra. Good. I always forget Deco Talker wasn't his main. It does even I don't remember. Diego like, Toka was his main because it wasn't Firewall Dragon because they fucking banned it. <laughs> yeah. Remember the Impressive. episode where he uses Firewall Dragon to make Diego Toka? I suppose that was the first one where they yeah they used um, twenty three hundred because yeah. like even access code has twenty three hundred until he uses the effect. Uh, oh, because before that was a Junks Junk Synchrons other one. Actually, one. Transcode Toka has twenty three hundred as well. Yes. Yeah, all his main good ones had twenty three hundred. Except for Firewall. The Firewall was bad. And that's why I got banned. What's the um, Ignis yeah. attack points? Also 23. Yeah. We're on to something. Why is it 23? Is there something in all their R&D that just says that that's a number? Someone watched the Jim Carrey movie and we're like... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that is 23, isn't it? <laughs> why do I always think it's 21? I always think it's 27. Is it 23? Is it 23? I think it's 23. 23? Yeah. 23 I haven't watched that movie. <laughs> 23. It's not as bad as I always thought it was. I just, really? I don't like the idea of watching Jim Carrey in something that's not funny. 23, Jake. 23. What do you mean? Well, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Jake's just going to sit here and quote Ace Ventura all day long. I haven't watched that movie in so goddamn long, I can't remember. I liked the second one, I think. Which, uh, but I think it kind of sucked. But the second one was alright. Ace Ventura. I'll tell you what is good. Bruce Almighty. <laughs> Let oh. us know down below <laughs> in the, uh, in the comment Jim section on the Discord movie. what your favourite Jim Carrey movie is. If any of you say Sonic, I will ban you. <laughs> oh, no! He he is really no, good no, in no. that. No, no, no. That, in fairness, it is... He, is he carries good. that. There's a fire at the Toast Factory. Oh, no. oh, God, we have to go. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and goodbye. Goodbye.